Hey folks, the desert artist here again. This is one of the trees I have cut down. And I wanted to show you the poison ivy that was on. So when it gets really big and old, I think I counted 22 rings on this poison ivy. When it gets really big and old, like this, it gets really hairy. That's another way to tell if it's poison ivy. You can see the rings how old it is and how it just God gets in there and strangulates the tree with its roots you can just see how the roots go right into the cambrium layer and just suckle see look at this see how it just suckles off the the juices of the tree that's how you know that any vines going up the tree are going to kill it because they put out these little tendrils that go in and just strangulate the tree. See how it goes right through the bark there? Goes right through the little cracks in the bark. Each year that this tree grows, it, the bark grows over these limbs, these little roots. And eventually, the vine will kill off the tree. You can see it shoots off bigger ones in case the other one decides to die off, or the tree gets in case the other one decides to die off, or the tree gets cut down. Virginia creeper can kill your trees too. You can see this is all Virginia creeper coming up this tree here. See how it's got the five leaves? It's got the same, the same root effect. Now the Virginia creeper puts off some sort of crystals that some people are allergic to. See how this stuff just comes right up the, right up the stalk there and climbs. See how it even looks. See those little suckers? They just reach out and grab onto it. Here's a dead one here. And if I go to pull this off, it takes paint with it. Now those Virginia creepers know better than the poison ivy. As you can see when it starts out, it starts out with sometimes three leaves too. But generally it's a palmet pattern. There's some poison ivy right there. Coming up out of the ground. Coming out of a root that I missed. There it is. See how easy it breaks off? That's how it ensures its longevity. See what it is? It comes out of a big old root ball that I missed. See? How the root tendrils just grow right around in there. Now I'm going to have to get in here with a shovel and remove this, otherwise it's just going to keep growing back, no matter how deep I bury it. I got to get rid of this transition point right here. I got to put a shovel right down there and get it out. So there you see it folks. That's how these poisonous vines kill these trees.